Okay guys, today I want to talk to you about something that I see going on and it's peer pressure on the tee pad. And uh, we're a different person when we're out here playing by ourselves. We have a plan, we have a goal, we, we know what we want to do. But what happens when we start playing with other people and the next thing you know, instead of throwing something like this, we end up throwing something like this. Peer pressure. Let's talk about it right after the intro. Okay guys, how often has this happened to you? I know it's happened to me. You've kind of got a game plan for how you want to play a hole. And then the guy in front of you steps up and uh, he pulls out a berg or a putter and he launches it. And you start thinking, well, there's no way I can throw my driver after he just threw a putter. So you do a little compromise. You go, okay, oh, I can't throw my 13 speed. So uh, I really feel kind of bad. I'm gonna throw a seven speed here. And so you get up, first of all, you haven't practiced with a seven speed, but you, you just don't feel right throwing anything less than this. I mean, faster than this, because you're gonna look like a wimp out there. And let's face it, we're just all trying to show who's got the biggest arm out on the course. And so what do we do? We step up and we throw a shot. We crank it in the trees or whatever, but at least, whoo, hey, I didn't throw something ridiculous like a driver on this hole. I mean, it's a, it's a hole uh, 270 feet. I wouldn't dare be caught dead throwing a driver on 270 feet. Heck, I wish there was something less than a putter that I could throw to show them how manly I am out here, or womanly, <laughs> your call, how far I can throw a disc. Because somehow we've, we've equated quality with being able to throw really far with really slow discs. And uh, guys, I wanna tell you, you need to play your game and not be so uptight about what other people are doing and what they're gonna think about your disc choices. Why are we making decisions based on what we think other people are gonna think about our disc? Come on guys, we're better than that. You need to play within your game. And if your game is that you can drop a overstable halo boss under that basket every time and somebody else is throwing a putter, grab that boss and say, well, you did a lot of work for that, watch this, and, and just play your game. Guys, there's no reason for you to be influenced by what somebody else is throwing, unless it's a good idea that you can do. And even then, I usually don't recommend changing your plan midway through a round. If somebody throws a good shot on a tee pad and you go, huh, I might like to try that. Now, if it's just a fun game, do it. But if it's during a tournament or something else, stick with your plan, leave yourself a note, write yourself in your phone or something like that, hey, try this out afterwards. But don't switch your plans midstream. Most of the time, I think it doesn't work out. If we did the numbers on it, most of the time it's not working out for you to make that switch midstream, especially if you're doing it based on peer pressure, not because it's a smart thing for you to do for your game. So here, let me demonstrate. Okay, from here, this tee pad to the yellow basket back there is 270 feet. Now I know when my arm's in, in full shape, I can throw this guy about 250. Actually, my other birdie would do better because this one's a little flippy, but I can throw this about 250. And the Berg about 225, 230-ish. Uh, but either way, I would have to give these my full power rip just to try to get them close to the basket. And that's if they get a full flight, I'm only getting close to the basket. I'm not even making it to the basket. So why would I let the pressure of somebody else throwing a putter make me go, oh, I'm gonna show them I can throw a putter too. And so now I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna have to rip it. Ugh. And as good a throw as I could, that was an okay throw, but, but I'm still 75 feet short all because I want to be able to say, yeah, I threw a putter on that. This game is not about saying what disc you threw, it's about your score. And so you need to go, oh yeah, I can look really impressive throwing this Berg 220 feet on a 270 foot hole. Club up and, and be a little more comfortable. Even if it's to go to a mid-range, because you know you can throw the mid-range, let's say you can throw the mid-range 300 feet on a good throw, okay? Well, it's 270. 
the other good news is there's a backstop. There's a slope behind it. So you've got a cushion behind the basket if you threw it a little farther. So you might as well throw it a little harder, go for an ace run, and know it's going to stop behind the basket. You don't want to be short on this hole. So club up and give yourself a chance, but also just so that you can throw more easily. Yeah, there are times when you want to throw full power, but most of the time, especially as you're getting older, you want to throw as easy as possible to, to avoid the wear and tear. Why are you throwing harder just to show other people you can? I don't get it. I understand it. Yeah, I get it. The, the heart of man wants to prove and do all this stuff, but don't give into it. Be smarter. Be better than me. Be better than other people and go, I'm going to play my game. So then at least go to a mid-range, which is what you normally play, okay? Actually, you normally play a fairway, but you go, okay, I'm going to compromise. I'm not going to go putter, but I'm going to go mid-range. Okay, so I'll still look kind of cool because I can do it with a mid-range. So now I'm going to have to give it good juice just to get it to the basket. And it was an okay shot. First of all, I didn't get a full pull on it. I still needed to give the full blast to the disc. So it's better because I know I can get to the basket with a full pull, but I'm still really working hard to do it. And let's face it, when you're trying to throw hard, you tend to get a little squirrely with your throws. So just by stepping up a little, okay, a crave or an evader, let's just something, we, we're, we're pushing towards a seven speed. That's a much more doable, relaxing shot for this distance here. So now I can, I can settle down just a little bit. I'm not trying to do too much with the disc and show people what I can do. I'm trying to play my game. Got a little headwind. Oh, wind held it, wind held it. Skip, skip, skip. Not the greatest throw, but I am pin high, 12 feet to the right of the basket. And I didn't have to crank on it a lot. And here's where I'm gonna hopefully blow some of your minds. If you've got the game, you've got the shot, and you've got it dialed in, do something crazy, blow their minds the other way. Throw something ridiculously fast, like a halo boss that's super stable. Let's see if I can do it. Of course, trying to demonstrate all this stuff and talk in one take, it never works out. But uh, yeah, sometimes I think it's fun to blow people's minds by throwing ridiculous discs that they're like, why'd you throw that? I go, because I can. I'm four feet behind the basket, and I was just having fun. I didn't have to throw it hard. I just had to throw it and let the disc do the work. So the key, guys, is to play your game. Don't let peer pressure influence you to do something that's not inside of you or to work harder or to add extra chaos to your mental game and your, 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 your throwing mindset when you're getting up there. We've got enough stuff going on inside that we don't need to add the pressure of what other people are thinking or doing. Get out here, have a plan, play your game, and don't let other people, especially the big arm monkeys that come out here and throw all putters 450 feet, influencing you to throw something harder and worse than you normally do. So there you go. I hope that helps. I hope that just inspires you, gives you some, some grace to go, I don't have to compete with these other guys and what they're throwing. I can throw what I want to throw, what I know to throw, and what's comfortable for me. And I think your score is going to reflect a little bit more joy in your game. And that's my hope. So there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if I'm giving you any kind of value. And I hope to see you out on the course.